What's poppin' people? This is Jonah from Baskel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our latest effect, AI Depth of Field, which allows you to add realistic, dynamic bokeh, or background blur, to any shot. Let's get into it. So I have this shot of a horse here. Pretty cool, pretty basic. There is some background blur, but I want to add some more. So let's go add AI Depth of Field. And you can see right away, I'll add a little bit of background blur. If you turn up the bokeh radius, we'll be able to see it more sharply. And right now it seems it's focusing around this region. I would like it to be focused on the eye. It seems the eye is a little too close to be in focus. So what I can do right away is just switch to focus mask view. And then we can see if we adjust the focus distance, pull it a little closer. Now the eye will be in focus. And you can also adjust the focus mask scale here. So if you want just that little sliver around the eye to be in focus, you could do that. Or actually, if it's a little too close, I could even just adjust it in bokeh view here. Maybe something in between those, like 43. So this is a pretty small sliver. I don't think I want the focus mask scale that low. Maybe we'll set it to 5. And if you want to dive a little bit more into the depth quality settings, we can increase the quality of the depth map here. Could up it to 4, which would be a little slower, but higher resolution or two, which would be a little faster, but lower resolution. There's also this focus clarity, which can help bring some edges into sharper focus. I'll just leave that as default right now. But if I were to render this out, we might see a problem right away, which if I just skip four, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about, which is that the eye is actually moving around in the scene. So in this case, the eye is a little bit farther away. What we could do is keyframe the focus distance so that at the start, it's where it is, at 44, and then we keyframe it so it's here, so that by this frame it's in focus, which would work, but there's an even easier and more elegant way to do it, which is to use this focus point. So if we look at the focus mask here, we can see we can set this point, and then wherever we put this point, or I'm going to have to go, whoops, I'm going to have to go uh, Command-Shift-H to view the point, but if wherever we put this point, that is what's going to be in focus. I'm actually going to use After Effects' point tracker, so it's good enough. Then if we go back into AI Depth of Field, Alt-click on Focus Point, and then drag the uh, Pick Whip icon here to the position of our null, and then I can press U to close all that. Now the Focus Point will always follow the center of the horse's eye, without me having to keyframe anything. So we can see here, the Focus Point is clearly on the eye, and if we go forward a few frames, to a later part in the clip, you can see it's also on the eye. And just to show you, I've rendered out that clip and then re-imported it, so you can see the depth of field is now showing only the horse's eye in focus, and then everything else is blurry, proportional to how far away it is, just like bokeh on a real camera. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you, I have this clip here of New York City. And all I've done is I've taken the focus point and I have keyframed it so that it moves. Uh, actually, what I did was I set it to an expression where it's controlled by these two, uh, this separate XYZ position effect, which is just sliders that doesn't do anything. And the reason I did that was so that I could apply expressions. Uh, sorry, no, so that I could adjust the graph of the Y position so that it slowly moves towards the camera at the start and then speeds up in the middle. I could have easy eased it before, but I wanted to really drag these handles to make it more extreme. And then also, as the focus point gets closer to the camera, I have taken the focus mask and I increased uh, fo focus mask scale and I've increased it here. So there's just one problem here, which is that uh, at least in my sense, if we take like a middle frame here, the or maybe go a little closer to the end, the blur in the distance is a little intense, and the blur in the foreground is like fine. So we have this feature, we can have a different radius for all regions of the frame closer to the camera than the focus point, and all regions farther from the focus point. So we turn that on, and then I'll have the focus radius far already set to a lower value than the one for near. Then you can see, if we compare to having it off, it makes it less blurry in the distance, but just the same amount of blurriness in the foreground. So I prefer the look here. I think it looks a little more natural. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. 
I'd love to see what you make with this plugin. If you want to show us on our Discord, we would absolutely love to see your examples. And everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do. Thank you.